Hey guys, Zuzu Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. Today we're going to do a crystal video. Yes, we're going to jump back into these crystal videos. And today I want to talk about Shungite. Shungite is one of my BFFs. As of late, I simply adore it. It's called a crystal, but it doesn't have a true crystalline structure. So it's not actually a crystal, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to call it a crystal. But um, I love Shungite. Shungite is great for detoxification. You can use it and put the elite Shungite in your water to purify and detox your water. It helps detox your system. It's wonderful. One of my favorites for EMF protection, electromagnetic frequency protection. So cell phones and towers and 3G and 4G and 5G, all of that. It's really wonderful for that. So I wear my Shungite all the time or most of the time I'm wearing my Shungite. I simply adore it. So if you are using Shungite for these properties that it has, you want to make sure that you have real Shungite, right? Because if you don't, then it's not doing what you think it's doing. So today we're going to put the Shungite to the test and I'm going to show you how to test your Shungite to ensure you have genuine shoe night. If you want to see that, stay tuned because we're going to do this. various pieces of Shungite. So I purchased Shungite in crystal shops. I purchased Shungite online and all the time I test it because I want to make sure that the person that I buy it from is a reputable source. So the Shungite that I have in the shop, I have uh, multiple pieces and types are all tested. They are genuine Shungite. Of course you should test it again once you get it home, but they have been tested. Uh, but today, guess what we're going to do? We're going to test this. This is a Shungite sphere. It's my favorite. This is my personal piece. I do have these in the shop. Uh, I also have a Merkaba, a Shungite Merkaba. I love this. We're going to test that. We're going to test this. It's like just a palm stone. It has a flat base so it can stand up. Uh, we have flat palm stone. I sell these in the shop. I've got a Tekken obelisk. Love this. This is one of my favorite pieces. We've got just a tumble, Shungite tumble. We've got a Shungite Buddha. We've got, what else do we have? What else do we have? Shungite bracelets. And then we've got Shungite necklaces. So that's a point, double terminated point in a kind of faceted teardrop kind of situation. So that's what we're going to be testing today. So you're probably wondering, what do we need to test our Shungite? You haven't told me. The way I test Shungite is very, very simple. Flashlight, right? Because Shungite is a conductor of electricity, right? So it's one of the few stones that are conductors of electricity. It's not the only one, but it is one of the few stones. And so we have a flashlight here. I got this flashlight from Dwayne Reed. You can get it from a drugstore. I got a three pack actually for like $3, $4. So make sure that your flashlight is the flashlight that loads the batteries in the back. That is important because we are going to be conducting electricity with our Shungite through that space. So if I press this with my finger, look, nothing. Nothing happens. I've got fresh batteries in there. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening, right? So we're just going to put this back on just because I want you to see that. just want you to see. So if we press that, right, there we go. Turn it off. So the batteries work. Everything's on. Let's start. What should we start with? What do you guys want to start with? Jewelry? Let's start with jewelry. So no, no. Let's start with. Let's start with this because because we have this small little opening here, I can only test certain pieces with this. I'd have to have a bigger flashlight if I wanted to do bigger pieces. So we're going to start with my favorite. This is a uh, Tekken or an obelisk and this is Shungite. I love this. This is in my personal collection and we're just going to go here. <gasps> Did you see that? I don't know why that excites me every time. <gasps> 
So Shungai is a conductor of electricity, and that's exactly what it's doing. That is genuine Shungai right there, okay? That's real Shungai. The Tekken obelisk passed the test, which is probably why it's one of my favorite pieces. Where should we go next? Where should we go next? Okay, so let's go for some pieces that I have in the shop. I've got tumbled pieces in the shop. Oh! <gasps> Look at that! This is genuine Shungite. This little baby right here, she's small, but she's genuine Shungite. Okay, she passed the test. And I just want to make sure you know, look, look at my finger, okay? So I'm not doing any magic here. That's the Shungite doing all the magic. Well, I don't, I don't have that same magic. I've got magic, but I don't have that kind. So next, let's do, let's do some jewelry. And we've got We've got this. So this is a Shungite uh, double terminated point necklace. And let's see, let's take you, take you, take you. And um, this is not Shungite. Not Shungite. I purchased this from a crystal shop. I will not name the crystal shop, but I purchased this from a crystal shop just because I didn't have any Shungite uh, necklaces. And I was like, oh, let me get one. And negative. I don't know what it is. And it might have some beautiful properties, but what it is not is Shungite. I also got this one because I wanted to have a selection. I thought, oh, these would be nice to have in the shop. Let me just test them out. And let's see, is this one Shungite? This one is Shungai. So I got them from the same shop. And you know what? I can't even be mad at the shop because if you don't know, you don't know, right? And if you buy, I always buy my crystals from reputable sources. I tend to get things straight from the mines or from people who get them straight from the mines and have jewelry or whatever made out of them most of the time because I want to ensure that the crystals that I have and I sell in the shop are genuine crystals that I'm giving to you because we use them for energy. We use them for healing. And so if you don't have what you think you have, I'm not going to say it doesn't work because there is a such thing as the placebo effect, but we want to make sure that I'm so excited about that. I'm excited about that because I was kind of skeptical because this came from the same place. So we're going to put that in the Shungite pile. Next up, next up, I've got this Buddha. So I bought this Buddha and I'll tell you more about this Buddha after we test it. Okay. So Buddha's head is perfect to go right in here. His little, his little knots, his little kinky knots and Buddha is not, Buddha's not Shungite. Okay, Buddha's not Shungite. And I paid more than I'd like to tell you for this because I collect Buddhas. I love them. And it's like a Shungite Buddha. What? Negative. It's not a Shungite Buddha. However, what I will tell you is the person that I bought this from did not mention this, but I have seen this same piece for sale other places and they did mention this. So what they said was, this was ground shungite mixed with other things so possibly like a resin or uh something so it may be that there's such little shungite in this that it just doesn't register but it might still have a smidgen of shungite because that is what some of the other sites that sell this piece say the site that i got it from said it was genuine carved shungite which it is not it is not that uh, but it may be genuine carved something with Shungite powder. But it's going to go in the no list. It's not Shungite. Now, I will be fair. I can't test this bottom part because my flashlight, I can't get these little pieces. So perhaps this little base is Shungite. I don't know. That remains for me to get a bigger flashlight and test it. I still love this little guy and I'll keep him uh, in my collection. But he's not what I thought. Okay. And I also bought an elephant from that same person because I love elephants. I love elephants. And so I bought an elephant, needless to say, same, same situation. It is, it's not Shungite. Okay. So that was a little disappointing, but, um, you know, I waited for it to come in the mail and that's, that's what happens when you buy crystals in the mail. Sometimes you have to wait to get them to test them. And I didn't bother sending them back because I like them and I still want them. 
Next up, we've got my Merkaba. This is from my personal collection. So you know if it's from my personal connection, collection, it's uh, it's going to be. I've already tested it. So my Merkaba is Shungite palm stones. I have these flat palm stones in the shop. And boom, I can't really get it in there good, but you can see that. Uh, that is just so cool to me. That will never get old. That will never get old. And I need to bring this with me uh, next time I go to a crystal shop to get some Shungite. So we'll move through quickly because you kind of get the point, right? You get the point now. Oh, I don't think I can fit this baby in there. I can't. It can't fit. But I do have an egg. And I have eggs in the shop as well. And the egg is Shungite. Okay. And then last but not least. Oh, I, I can't test this sphere. I don't know why I even did it. It is genuine Shungite though. Uh, and bracelets. Are they Shungite? Well, you see I'm wearing this one, so you can probably guess it is Shungite. And, hold on, <laughs> it is, it's Shungite. And I'm not even really pressing that hard, guys. It just like touches it and leans up against it and it's like, Bring! and then I also have this bracelet in the shop and that's Shungite. So quick recap, not Shungite. Sold to me a Shungite, lovely black, double terminated pendant. Not Shungite at all. Don't know what it is, but we know it's not Shungite. And lovely Buddha, not Shungite. Don't know what it is. It's beautiful. Not Shungite. Shungite, double, my uh, terminated obelisk Tekken. Shungai. So that's it, guys. It's it's not rocket science. It's not super hard. You get yourself a flashlight with an open back, fresh batteries, and um, you go ahead and test it out. I like this little one because I can take it with me to the shop, which I didn't do and I should have, but I will for now on because it'll just pop in my purse. I like this because I can take this to any crystal shows and I can test it right there on the spot. So I really, really, really like this small one, but you can use a big one if you want to get down to the nitty gritty of some of the bigger pieces. So now you know how to test your Shungite. Hopefully the Shungite that you have is genuine Shungite. If it's not, I'm sorry. You can come to my shop, innerouterbalance.com. That information is in the description. And I have genuine Shungite and you can purchase some from me. <laughs> but um, hopefully the, the ones that you've already purchased from other places is genuine. Uh, as you could see, most of what I had was genuine Shungite. Unfortunately, sometimes it's not, so you do need to pay attention to where you're buying. I noticed that if you buy um, from certain places like China, nothing against China, but China is a place that you want to be very weary of when you're buying crystals because they are known to bootleg crystals. Obviously, not all companies in China, but you definitely want to pay attention because they mass produce a lot of product and a lot of time it's just glass or whatever. So just pay attention to where you're buying your crystals from. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Zuzu Natural. Peace out.